So it's possible to track significance through a series of calculations. Uh, for any calculation you do, the significance of your final answer is going to be limited by or based on the least certain measurement that takes part in that calculation. And there are a set of rules you can follow to, to track your significance. The first rule relates to addition and subtraction. And it says, if you add any two numbers together, look for the one that has the fewest number of decimal places, and that's the number of decimal places in your final answer. For the, any other set of calculations you do that involve multiplying or dividing, same kind of idea. You look at which of the two numbers has the fewest number of significant figures this time, and your final answer will have that number of significant figures. Rule three says treat exact numbers as if they have an infinite number of sig figs and decimal places. So in this case, exact numbers are things like uh, unit conversions. There are 12 inches in a foot, for example. That would be 12 point an infinite number of zeros. The fourth rule says if you have to round something, if it ends with a five or greater, round up, round down if it's less than five. Fifth rule, keep an extra digit or two uh, when you're doing each calculation and round at the end. So we'll do a couple of examples now just to, uh, just to check things out. So if we add 321.57 plus 32.4, we end up with 353.97. Now this is not taking into account any significant figures. So what we do is we look at the number of decimal places in our starting values because we're doing addition and subtraction here. Two decimal places, one decimal place. The fewest number of decimal places is one, so our final answer should only have one. Our final answer should only have one, but we have a nine seven. That means we have to round, and since the final number is greater than five, we have to round up. That means we end up with 354.0. Now when you're doing any calculations for me in an assignment or a test, things like that, I really only want to see the final answer rounded to the correct uh, number of decimal places or sig figs or whatever. Uh, I don't want to see the intermediate step. So that's an example using addition and subtraction rules. Uh, what we can also do is we can do calculations involving multiplying or dividing. So we have 7.053 multiplied by 21.4. We end up with 150.9. And this number has obviously four sig figs, but when we count total number of significant figures, four sig figs, three sig figs, so our final answer should only have three significant figures. So we have to again round, and our final digit is greater than five, so we have to round up to 151. And again, you don't need to show that intermediate step. Our final calculation is gonna be a little bit more complex. We'll have to use all of these different steps uh, in the same calculation. So we're going to add 12.73 to 1.982, we're going to subtract 3.7814 divided by 9.3, and we're going to add 0 0.053 plus 0 0.12, all times 1.934. So what we have to do is we have to break this calculation into a series of steps. I'm going to split it up into this addition, this division, one more addition, and a multiplication. And for each of those individual steps, we're going to apply the regular significant figures rules. So for the first addition, we end up with 14.712. And in each case, I'm going to be following rule number five, keep an extra digit or two and round at the end. The second calculation, 3.7814 divided by 9.3, gives us a value of 0 0.406602. And the final addition, followed by a multiplication, gives us a value of 0 
And when you add these all together, you get 14.6399. And what we have to do now is we have to decide how many significant figures should that final answer have. And to do that, we look at each individual calculation. The first calculation, the addition, has two decimal places and three decimal places, which means the final calculation there should have two decimal places. And if it has two decimal places, the total is four sig figs. The second calculation should only have two sig figs, five divided by two. So it should have two decimal places and two sig figs. The final calculation involves three decimal places and two, so zero followed by two decimal places, and then multiplied by four sig figs, so the final thing should have two sig figs two decimal places. And that means our final answer should also have two decimal places. Two decimal places, two decimal places, and two decimal places. So our final answer is 14.64.